crazy. And with Martin's boat, like what what was the you know director's intent for the takeaway for this? And everyone seeing this and hearing about Martin Litton and just and and the boats themselves, the dories and. So the film's what? about a, a new boat that was uh, built and named after Martin in his honor. And the film is about its maiden voyage down the Grand Canyon. Um, and, you know, we talked about giving it, making it kind of like a cause-based film and talking about the proposed tramway that would take you from the rim of the canyon down to what, they're going to build a big restaurant and gift shop at the confluence of the Little Colorado, and it would be horrible. That, came at, that would change it drastically. Yeah. 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 Making like a thousand people a day yeah, bringing it down there. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. And, you know, for a long time that was a part of the film, but uh, we, we scrapped it and we just wanted to let the, tor the story tell itself and just to bring people into the Grand Canyon and show them, because, you know, it's easy to say from your couch in Phoenix that we should be harnessing the power of the Grand Canyon to light our cities. Mm -hmm. And we do need to light our cities, you know, and it's, it's, so it's easy to say, let's do whatever we can to support this growing population. But if you can actually, if you can't actually go and boat it yourself, you should watch the movie and see what's down there and what, what needs protecting. And maybe you'll turn your lights on less in Phoenix. And Could have an impact. <laughs> yeah. Jim, what would be your message to everyone about why it's so important to participate in a festival? like Wild and Scenic. This is why we make the films. Um, you know, they should be on a big screen in a room with a bunch of people that, you know, viewing something with, with a community in a dark room. It's just, that's, that's what films are for. Yeah. And, uh, and then coming out and talking about it. Yeah. And doing something. Cool. Yeah. Is this your first time here? This is my first time at this festival. I love Nevada City, but I'd never been able to make it. Well, I'm glad you came. Yeah. All right, Jim Aikman. The film is called Martin's Boat. Go check it out. What's the website? Do you know? Martinsboat.com. Martinsboat.com. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I'm Elisa Parker. It's the Wild and Scenic Film Festival. We are broadcasting live here. So much good stuff going on. Did, I don't know where the pedaled powered stage is. It might be in the National Hotel now. I didn't even know about that. There is. Yeah, that's well, awesome. I mean, it's raining today. Yeah. Typically, it's outside. I heard it might be inside the National. Yeah, pedaled powered. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, cool. could, you could get some exercise, yeah. do a little writing, and hear some music. <laughs> totally. Get it worked out all at once. And um, so all kinds of stuff like that. Free workshops in addition to the amazing films like Martin's Boat. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Thanks. We'll be right back. A river trip, it is a microcosm of life. It's mind expanding for sure. He would get in these situations that would kill a normal person. He just looked the part. For the first time I ever rode a boat through the Grand Canyon, I couldn't get enough of it. He saw the emergence of this enormous reservoir. Martin Litton stood up and said no. If Martin hadn't been around, we would be 100 feet underwater now. One of the last great warriors. It's really hard to capture what Martin Litton means, especially now that he's gone. We built this boat in memory of him. He deserved it. And we named it the Marble Canyon. I was a little worried that I wasn't going to get this thing done. It wasn't until we had dories that we found we could run Lava Falls. This is the place where the Colorado River basically detonates. And it just went right over the bow and completely submerged the boat. There's a, a mystic thing about a dory. There's a soul about it.